He lived, he died, and he rose. Woo! Oh, we celebrate this morning. We sing those words, he bore the cross, but he beat the grave. Let heaven and earth proclaim. I almost messed up the lyric. We were just singing it, sorry. <laughs> but it's Easter Sunday. We celebrate those words that Jesus is alive. And because he lives, we can live today too. Amen. You guys can go ahead and be seated. And as you do, I just want to take a moment to welcome you here to Easter Sunday at Sandals Church, Hunter Park. My name is Fredo, uh, and I have the great privilege of hosting service today. And I want to take a moment just to especially welcome those of you who are new, maybe joining us for the first time. Hear me when I say this. It's an honor that on Easter Sunday you would join us for service. And so I want to say thank you so much for being a part of what we're doing. And listen, we would love to know that you came today. There is a uh, card that says new across the top. If you wouldn't mind filling that out, let us know that you were here so that we can uh, follow up with you and tell you more about who we are as a church. Uh, there'll be a bucket in the back uh, by the door that you can just drop that in as you head out after service. You know, Romans 8.20, uh, I'm sorry, Romans 8.32 speaks about God proving his love for us, and that he gave to us his greatest treasure. And that was the gift of his son. And so if he's not willing to even just withhold his own son, what's keeping us from thinking that God won't also provide everything we need in life? If Easter is anything, it's about a God who gives life to us. And so as we enter into this moment to give back, as we take an offering, we do this as a reminder for people who are following Jesus that we practice giving because God gives first. And we want to respond to that. And so this is an opportunity for us to uh, give back to the work that God is doing in and through our lives and in and through the life of this church. Uh, it allows us to significantly partner with our community and serve them. And so listen, if you're uh, a fresh face today or a familiar face, I would invite you into this moment to give, to financially give to what God is doing in and through Sandals Church so that we can continue to provide a place for children, uh, for us to connect and meet with people who are in real need throughout the year. Um, and it would be a great opportunity for us really just to bear witness to what God is doing in and through our church. And so whether you choose to give through the boot bucket or the app, I just want to take a moment to say thank you. Uh, and as we enter into that time, let's pray together as a church. Heavenly Father, we gather this morning on Easter Sunday and we want to say thank you for your love. Thank you for your life and for the way that you have provided for us. God, we give because with you we have enough. And so we ask that you would take what we offer to you, whether it be big or small, God, we ask that you would multiply it and that you would use it for your good and your glory. We pray in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Now, have you ever considered the journey of Easter? I ask that because for many of us, Easter kind of begins with the sun out, the, the, the blue, the sky is, is bright and, and colorful. We're here, there's energy. But as you go back to scripture, you come to find out that Easter actually began in the dark. With a woman going to a grave, not looking to celebrate, but to grieve. Not expecting to find somebody alive, but expecting to find a body. Listen, Easter begins in the dark. There's a journey to it. Because before we get to Easter Sunday, we consider that Jesus himself lived life like you and I. He was a human being. Which means that he lived and experienced the full breadth of human emotions. What it's like to gather, to sing, to laugh, to cry, to enjoy a good meal, to enjoy a friendship, but to also experience the hardships of life. He knows what it's like to walk in your shoes today. As one person said it, Jesus himself, he moved into the neighborhood. He lived life like you and I. And so this morning, we have an opportunity as we go on this journey to once again find our story, to find our own journey and the journey of Jesus. And so let's do that together. 